Hey guys, uh, welcome back. Now in this video tutorial, I will be introducing a new sensor. It's a magnetic sensor. It says that the name is MMC two four six O MT. Now let's face this: that this sensor is available on the website that is controleverything.com. And to gain more knowledge about this sensor, what we gonna do is to search this sensor. And what we got is a plus minus six Gauss low noise two axis. Magnetic sensor. It's a MMC two four six O MT, and these are some more features you can see here. You can also purchase the sensor from this website. I will be interfacing the magnetic sensor MMC two four six O MT with an Arduino Nano, and for that, I will be going on the resource tab to get the Arduino code sample, and uh, you can get the Arduino code sample as required from here. You can download it. Now you can also go get the code from github.com and the repository there is control everything community. Now what we need is to make some connections for the hardware we need to pursue this video and let's make them. Now coming to the hardware connections part uh, the setup we need is the first part is an Arduino Nano which you are able to see on my screen and the next part is an I2C shield which can be purchased from the website control everything.com. Now the reason we are using this shield is to make connections and with other I2C devices and those connections should be a lot easier that's why we are using this I2C shield. So make a connection and place the Arduino Nano over the I2C shield gently like this. Now what we need is our sensor that's the magnetic sensor MMC2460MT. Now this here is a connecting cable. Make a connection among the sensor and the cable and make sure that the brown wire of the cable should be connected to the ground terminal of the sensor and same goes for the I2C sheet. The last part is to provide a setup a power backup for the Arduino Nano and for that we require a mini USB cable and gently insert it over the power jack so that we can light up the Arduino Nano. And we are done with the connections. Now what we require is to have a look over the code. Let's find out what we got there. In the interfacing part, first of all, we require to have a look over the Arduino code and to reach the Arduino code, uh, let's go to github.com and here we have to search for the official repository that is control everything community and let's see what we got there and here search for the sensor that is MMC2460XMT or MT, pardon me, and here this is the Arduino code. Let's have a look over the instructions we need to pursue this code. It says that download and install Arduino software ID on our local machine and Arduino.cc is the link which will guide us through the whole procedure of setting the entire setup for the software. And you can download the Arduino software and it runs on the Windows, Mac and Linux operating system. It's your choice to use it as your accessibility. Now what we require is to fulfill all the relevant information regarding the installation process and now get back to the Arduino code. Uh, let's explore and let's see what we got there. It's a .in extension file and uh, please note it down that in the code the first step is to include the wire attached library and then we have defined the address of the sensor that is 0x30. Now in the void setup function we have initialized I2C communication and serial communication with the board rate equal to 9600. In the writing section what we require is to select the command register 0 having address 0x07 and the command we are sending here is the measurement command and it's 0x23 it will start the measurement after that in the void loop function we are having the reading uh, data and the selection of the data register 0x00 as you can see and we are requesting four bytes of data it's the magnetic field data for x and y perpendicular axis as we have told you earlier it's a two axis magnetic sensor so that's why two axis x and y and we have the conversion of the values uh, the data as you can see or uh, it's according to the data sheet we have been provided for mmc2460 mt at the very end of our code we have to show the output data on the serial monitor which is in the form of magnetic field for x and y axis and let me tell you it's the raw values it can be negative it can be positive depending upon the magnetic field values so let's see what we got in the practicality and uh, show you the working of this sensor along with the code. Let's have it. And now to show the practicality in the working environment, let's uh, do the first trick that is to copy this entire Arduino code, open up the Arduino here and in this Arduino part or the terminal here, uh, we have to paste the entire code and save it. 
by the name MMC2460 MT which is the reference and hence now verify and compile the code as you can see on my screen and after that uh, it's done compiling upload the code it might take a while but it will be over soon voila uh, it's done now what do we require is to open up the serial monitor and let's see what we got there we have the magnetic field for x and y axis as you can see the field uh, values are almost constant as there is no change in the magnetic field but when i bring a bar magnet near the sensor you can see the value changes all the value changes as i move the sensor in all the directions you can see the changes for the magnetic field in x and y axis so this is how the sensor responds to the values for the magnetic field changes now what we want to do is to show the benefits the features and the applications regarding the magnetic sensor mmc 2460 mt let's have it the mmc 2460 mt is a complete two axis magnetic sensor with on chip signal processing and integrated i2c bus the device can be connected directly to a microprocessor eliminating the need for a to d converters or timing resources it can measure magnetic fields within the full scale range of plus minus 6 gauss with 0.25 milligauss for lsp resolution in 16 bit operation mode or 0.8 milligauss total rms noise enabling heading accuracies of less than 1 degrees in electronic compass applications due to these features it applicable in a lot of uh, applications such as electronic compassing gps navigation assist magnetic field measurement this answer is available and can be purchased from the website that is controlleverything.com and you can have the code from the resource tab as a zip file you can also have the code from github.com and the repository there is control everything community now i would like to make it clear that in case of any queries regarding any part of this video or the sensor you can have your queries on controlleverything.com and you can post your comments on the community page for blogs and articles you can go to our page of instructables.com and to subscribe more video tutorials like this go to our youtube channel page now i hope you enjoyed this video and have a good one yourself too uh, thanks for watching thanks a lot